Good morning. We're over here in the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 9, verses 12 and 13 today. Let's read it, and then we'll just think about it for a moment. When the day began to wear away, the twelve came and said to him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the surrounding towns and country, and lodge and get provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. And they said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we go and buy food for all these people. So the day wears on. Jesus just keeps healing and preaching and talking to people. And finally, the disciples, they must have gotten together and said, you know, he's going to wear himself out here. We've got to put an end to this. We've got to just help the master take a break. And finally, they approach him. It sounds as though they approach him more or less as a group. And they come and they say, hey, go ahead and send these people away. We can be done for the day. They can come back tomorrow. So Jesus takes this, though, and what does, he, what does he do? Jesus is not running out of energy. Jesus isn't going to send these people away. Well, when did Jesus send somebody away? Not too many times, if you can think of that. But Jesus turns this into an opportunity. You give them something to eat, says Jesus. You do it. And so Jesus here is turning this into an occasion for them to think about, do they have a source? Do we have a source of help? I mean, how can we feed this? It's going to go on and tell us that there was over 5,000 men, and that would mean that beside the men and the women and children, there's probably uh, 12,000 people here. I know this is in a small place. This is the north end of the Sea of Galilee, and you've got, you know, some different cities up there. Go look on a map in the back of your Bible. This would have been still a very substantial group of people. And yes, feeding feeding thousands is is a pretty big operation. But Jesus is calling on them to do what? To exercise faith. Uh, he says, you. You give them something to eat. Well, what do they need to do? They don't have they don't have very much, but they have Jesus. So they have everything. And they could just say, Well, Jesus, what can be done? Do you have can you help us? And of course, we'll see what happens as we carry on with the story tomorrow. But Jesus is trying to draw them out. Jesus is trying to lead them to call upon him who can help. You know what? You and I, many times we have needs just like they do. They needed to feed thousands upon thousands of people and they didn't have much. You and I have needs to minister to people and we don't have too much. But you know what? When he says you give them something to eat, he's, he's appealing to them to appeal to him. And you and I need to be more ready, more speedy, more quick, more determined to appeal to the God of heaven and earth because God has what we need to serve him. So let's take a lesson here that I think Jesus is trying to teach. Help us to lean on God, and he will give exactly what's needed in that hour. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for these, uh, these occasions here where Jesus is teaching his, uh, his disciples, and he's teaching us. And Lord, we have not relied upon you enough. We've relied upon our own resources too many times and missed good opportunities. Lord, you have all the resources of heaven and earth. May we uh, set our reliance upon you. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us this. Help us to implement it now. And may all the glory and the mighty things that be done, may they all reflect on the goodness of your kingdom, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Next time there's a need and you don't have very much, God is calling on you. Call upon him. God's blessings be upon you today.